there is now widespread community transmission of the coronavirus, COVID-19. The city of New York urges you to stay home even if you're not sick. Hey guys, welcome back to another co-vlog. My name is Rebecca and you can finally see the color that I dyed my hair yesterday. See how nice and rich and beautiful it is. Uh, this morning, we're gonna do something special. I have a special guest on my vlog. It is my mother. You guys loved how she taught us to make hummus last time. You guys loved how she taught us to make hummus last time. So this time, she's gonna teach us how to make baba ganoush and another eggplant dip as well. So, let's go do that. Welcome to my kitchen. My mother is here to bless us with a couple Hello. more recipes. Uh, a recipe that's very similar to hummus, or at least it's served in a lot of the same ways as hummus, is baba ganoush. Um, and so my mom and I are gonna show you how to make baba ganoush today. Also, we're gonna make a, another kind of eggplant salad. We're calling it, what do we call it? Roasted eggplant salad mm -hmm. in English. What is baba ganoush in English? Just baba ganoush. It's called the baba ganoush. Yeah, but, but <laughs> wait, wait, translate that directly into English. No, though. it doesn't have it means it means It means ganoush is dead. Yeah, yeah, ganoush is dead, but I have, I have no clue why we call it this, or what maybe, does it have maybe, to do with Maybe eggplant? ganoush is dad invented it. Wait, doesn't ganoush means cute? Yeah, it means cute and spoiled and... Cute kid's dad. <laughs> salad. <laughs> yep. Some cute kid's dad invented the salad hundreds of years ago, <laughs> and now it is still called cute kid's dad. We have baba ganoush and we have roasted eggplant salad. They're both delicious. One is a little bit higher calorie than the other, right? Yeah. So like depending on what you're craving, what you want it for, you can choose that. They both start with roasting an eggplant in the oven at, at how much? About 400 degrees. Around 400 degrees for a long half. time. Yeah, an hour, an hour and a half. Until your eggplant completely deflates and looks like mush. Like, I'll insert some images of how it looked like when it was done over mm -hmm. and, here. And we use this eggplant. Oh yeah, don't use the little tiny cute ones. If you use, the, the bigger the better. Aubergine for yeah. our English yeah. um, viewers. Yep. And uh, so yeah, so first you roast the eggplants in the oven. We roasted two, we're gonna do one with one salad, one with the other. Uh, we roasted two eggplants and then you, once it cools down a little bit and while it's still hot, you remove the peel. Um, and then you set it in a strainer to get all the juices out. So this has been straining for a little over an hour and it looks like this, super, super sexy and beautiful. <laughs> Look at all the juices that come out of it. Yeah. yeah, to get all the juices want, you out. You don't want the baba ganoush or the salad to be too watery, you know? Yeah. So, what you want is just these gloppy uh, eggplant innards. Same as last time, I'm going to put all of the measurements in a blog post in the description, so go there for measurements. We're gonna measure as we cook. Can we show them the vegetables? We yes, use? yes. So the vegetables for the salad are... Bell peppers, uh, whatever colors you like. Um, I like to use different colors because, you know, the salad would look nice. Roma tomatoes or plum tomatoes. When, we, when I cut these, though, um, I take out, like with my finger, I take out all the inside, like all the seeds because I don't like, again, soggy. Like, yeah, soggy, no soggy. And green onions or spring onions, some hot pepper, whatever hot pepper you like, jalapeno or, or this long hot pepper, uh, garlic, of course, garlic. So these are the vegetables that we're gonna oh, use and in the salad. This is for garnishing at the end. Parsley, parsley. parsley. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So we're gonna chop these up and then once we chop them up all tiny, I'll get back to you for assembling. Vegetables are chopped and we're back. Can we turn that off? It's, it's yellow. Yeah. Yellow lighting is a pet peeve of mine. I think my mom is learning <laughs> she that now. It. <laughs> yeah, it just looks so bad on camera. It yeah. really does. Like in, in regular life, it's fine. Yeah. But on camera, it's just not good. All right. So, we did a whole bunch of chopping and now we're just going to combine. It's really easy. A lot of recipes are just way easier than you think they're gonna be. So we put the eggplant in here. See how it's, uh, it's gonna be like stringy like this, but um, you can chop it down if you like. I like it like this. Then we are gonna add the vegetables, red and yellow peppers, spring onions, the hot pepper, this is optional, it's up to you if you want to use hot pepper or not, but it, it gives it a really nice taste. We're gonna add some tomatoes. Of course, our garlic. We're gonna add salt, our lemon juice. 
We can add cayenne pepper or chili flakes. I mean, it's up to you also if you like it hotter. See the beautiful colors? I really like this one. It's like fresh and really cool. And by the way, you need to wait for the eggplants. Did we say put them in the strainer? Yes. Um, and let the water, you know, kind of yeah. drip. And we, you need to wait for it to cool down. Don't, don't kind of use it when it's still warm or hot. It's, you know, because you're adding fresh vegetables. Oh, I forgot. The teaspoon of oil, olive oil. And boom, one eggplant salad done. Now we're moving on to the... On to the next one, the baba ghanoush. The baba ghanoush. The baba ghanoush, the secret is the uh, tahini mix. Okay, because it's basically the tahini and the eggplant. That's the baba ghanoush. So first what I want to do is I want to make the tahini with all the seasoning, the garlic and the salt and the lemon juice. Make sure that it's good. Then I will add the eggplant and see if it needs a little bit more uh, seasoning after I, I add the eggplant. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Very good. Arabs like to put tahini in everything. <laughs> tahini is good. It's our main fat source in life. Garlic. That was a very big clove. <laughs> good job. Garlic is one of the secrets to uh, baba ghanoush. So question, is it baba ghanoush? Yes. Because my whole life I've said baba ghanoush. No. Zh. Great. Baba ghanoush. My life is a lie. Need something? Just don't dip your finger twice. That's like one of my... Um, Pet peeves. Yeah, no dipping, no licking fingers in the kitchen. As you mix it in, you kind of just mash it around a little bit. Sometimes you're luckier than other times with the eggplant. Sometimes it's too bitter, sometimes, I don't know, it tastes funny. Like the hummus, we're going to do a little bit of a donut shape situation so we can hold some, some toppings. Now we can use whatever little vegetables you have. I have here some yellow bell pepper. You can put tomatoes if you want. Of course, olives, some parsley, paprika. Okay, and um, as if the tahini is not enough fat, when we serve it, we put a little bit of oil here. Beautiful. In the middle. A couple of you guys wanted to see my grandma's olives. She makes them in this. I mean, it, aw, oh, my camera's dying. One second. Now, what I was saying before I was very rudely interrupted, this is the container that my grandma makes olives in. Oh my God, we should call her and ask for the recipe. Okay. Let us know in the comments if we should call my grandma and ask her for how she makes this because she takes like pre-made olives and then she makes Just them again. Uh, so yeah, that is what we have for today. Uh, we have the regular baba ghanoush and we have the eggplant salad that's nameless. So we're just gonna call it, what, roasted eggplant <laughs> salad. They're both very good. They can both be eaten in very similar ways. You can put them in pita bread. You could scoop them with chips. You can scoop them with cucumbers or carrots or you can put them um, as a as a side in your Buddha bowl. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make a Buddha bowl and then instead of using like a fatty sauce, you can use like this, you know, as your like fatty mixture, you know what I mean? Let me know if you guys make it. A lot of you guys were making my, my mom's home recipe and every time you send me a picture I send, it, <laughs> I send it straight to her so she gets to see all of them and she likes them so much so let us know if you make these and yeah that is all for the cooking portion of today's video I have to head to work so I will see you there and I need to clean up <laughs> hold up guess what we could do we could check off number seven on our list eggplant recipes I'm bouncing on one knee so this is shaky I'm so sorry Boom! I assumed a minute would be a good amount of time to put oatmeal in the microwave for. Um, that assumption is wrong. A, a, a minute is not a, not a good time. Not a good amount of time. Wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> Dad. Working at the days of Corona. Yup. Looking at molds. Interesting stuff. If you were wondering, the correct amount of time was 40 seconds. So basically what I'm doing today is I'm uh, like going through all of our social medias, making sure everything can get like started back up again, if that makes sense, because we haven't been posting in ages. Uh, I'm also going through our websites and I need to find a company that can help us run our websites since it's just me. So uh, if anyone knows a good company that can help you run your website, then let me know. 
Welcome to a coronavirus themed unboxing. Uh, first we Clorox wipe down where we're gonna open our uh, new bed sheets that I ordered yesterday because fun fact, I hate bed sheet texture. I only like the bed sheet texture that's like a t-shirt. What is it called? Jersey knit. And that is not what my mama has on my bed. So I bought myself some Jersey knit. So first we Cloroxed the outside. And then we Clorox the inside. I'm gonna put it on my bed and see if I like it. Yes! So nice and soft and stretchy. This is how I like it. Okay, I've been using the I just moved excuse for maybe a day too long at this point. So let's try to turn this room into something more livable in. Okay, but before I do that, I have to admit to you guys something. I bought something. I bought something weird. It doesn't say so on the outside packaging, probably for safety reasons, but this box is from Supreme. Yes, the hype beast brand Supreme, the Supreme. And what, what the hell would I buy from Supreme, you might ask? Well, recently they had a collaboration with Oreos and they made Oreos that looked like this. And I figured, you know, I'm a, I'm a food person. So if I were to buy anything from Supreme, you better know it's probably food. And uh, I bought, I bought some Supreme Oreos in this box. So not this video, but probably in the next couple days, we are going to have a Supreme Oreo unboxing and taste test. Yes, I do plan on eating these, even though a box of them sold for $80,000? Okay, now I'm gonna clean my room. Well, cleaning my room is apparently a full contact sport. <sighs> you know what, I'll take that as a sign that I could stop for today. But honestly, my room's looking a lot better. Another couple days and it should be clean enough to start seeing what I could renovate. Because of social distancing, I can't go to Lowe's to check on flooring, which is three floor room, number nine on my list. I'm looking to get like vinyl interlocking flooring. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go see the colors and stuff, so I thought maybe I can order like one of each tile and check it out, like order it. Cause each tile is like not that much, like anywhere from 175 to like $3. So if I order like a couple different tiles, I can see the colors, right? Against this, I look so red. Anyway, long story short, uh, you can't buy per tile because I put two tiles in my cart and my subtotal is now $85.54 because they only sell it per box. Home Depot does samples. Three bucks each, not bad. Ho oh, ho, guess who has a single plank getting shipped to her from Home Depot <laughs> for $3 and like 29 cents. This girl, and then if I like it, I can order her a whole case. Uh, that is all I have for today then. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. That is all I have for today. Stay safe and I'll see you on the other side. Goodbye. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Juanita, Emily, Jenny, Marcia, Charlotte, Gemini, Curtis, Stacy, Janine, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, and Danny. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just stick around and watch another video. It shows YouTube algorithm that you're liking my content.